Okay, so here we have a 3D prism. And we know that this side right here is, has a length of 3. That's this right here. That this front length right here is, has a length of 4 and has a height of 12. Fix that too. How do we find this diagonal? It's cutting across from one corner all the way to the front corner here. How do we find that? Well, really what we want to use here is the Pythagorean theorem twice. Here on the bottom we have a right angle. So you can think of this as a right triangle laying flat on the bottom with one side of 3, so 3 squared, another side of 4, 4 squared, and this red line is the hypotenuse. So that's our first hypotenuse squared. You might recognize this as a 3, 4, 5 triangle, but let's solve anyway. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. H squared is that sum, so H squared is 25, but we want to know what's H. It's the square root of 25, or 5. So this little line down here is equal to 5. Okay, and now what do we do? Well, now we have another right triangle, and I'm going to draw the third leg of it right here. But this right triangle is at an angle, it looks like at an, at an angle here, but it's in 3D, right? Um, so, that's a right angle right there. We know the height of this triangle and the bottom leg right there. So now we can work out the Pythagorean theorem to find this hypotenuse. What do we do? Well, we have 5 squared is one leg, plus 12 squared is another, another leg. What is this next hypotenuse equal to? 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. That's equal to our hypotenuse squared. If we add these two up, we get 169. That's equal to this long diagonal, the square off of that. So we find the square root of it. And the square root of 169 is just 13. So that means that this diagonal right here, this long length, even though it's in 3D, we can solve it, it equals 13. And that's our answer.